Hey guys, Lynn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals, Trayer Wilderness. Uh, out here today, family and me, um, just enjoying the afternoon here, uh, relaxing a little bit, um, and the pooches. Hi, buddy. Um, and uh, just thought I'd show you a few things. Um, the boys over there chopping on a tree and my wife's doing some writing and just relaxing but I thought I'd show you here what I did in here to the shelter those of you who saw the video making this shelter um, this is kind of be a, an upgrade type thing if you're gonna stay in this shelter for more than you know a night or if you had time to get all your firewood in and everything during the first day and make a nice bed but I'm gonna show you here what I did um, zoom in here a little bit As you can see there I laid this log right here across the front and I probably should put another log down in the bottom there but I don't know that I'll have to but I probably should um, but I got this moss that's all over here and I filled that up with moss and that'll be a good insulation barrier between me and the ground and keep, help keep me warm. Um, it uh, It's obviously damp right now, but so I will take and I'll lay, like I said in the first video, a uh, trash bag, lay the trash bag down on there. That'll help keep moisture off of me and it'll still allow the heat and everything from the... That moss is like, like insulation, acts like insulation, of course. Like insulation, you pack it down it's gonna lose some of its R value, but you know, it's better than sleeping on the ground. It gives you a nice, you know, cushion, nice, comfortable night's sleep. But I'm also gonna try something else. Um, I wanna, I've, I've never done this, so I can't say that this is something that I do. Um, you know, I can't. Um, sorry, uh, I can't say that I've ever done this before, so I'm going to try it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try weaving a kind of a frame type thing um, out of some green pine boughs. And I'm going to try taking and weaving, um, make it a real tight weave, and then put this moss, find some of the, a bunch of this moss, and put in there over top of that and then put like a um, another weave out over top of the weave that I just did kind of a, a sandwich type deal but what I want to try to accomplish with this is yes it's not going to be comfortable exactly but it's kind of like a blanket or s something like that that would give you warmth you know if you're out and you're lost or whatever um, you could use it and make it and use it like Kind of like a blanket type thing so like i said i've never done this before so i'm gonna try and uh do it we'll see what happens and just come along with me so i'm gonna go down here and i'll show you getting some of the pine boughs and stuff and what we're gonna do so all right we'll see you in a bit okay guys so here's uh what we're gonna use this that's a spruce there there's, whoa, <laughs> sorry about the sun. There's white fur over, excuse me, over there. And uh, white fur there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and cut some of these off and just uh, kind of start weaving. So I'm going to chop a bunch of these off and show you, um, show you them. And then we'll go to weaving and I'll show you what I'm doing there. So uh, see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I've got this weaved in and out of itself and I can lift you can see here I can lift that up and I can crawl in crawl in underneath that and uh, what we're going to do now is get the moss and put the moss on top of here and then we're going to weave some more back through and try and uh, so it holds the moss in place so kind of show you here a little bit how I wove the um, pieces together um, you can see here like 
here on on this just kind of looping it over and under each different piece here and this didn't take me very long um, you can see there um, kind of over and this one goes there's a branch here and it goes over this one under this over the next one and just weaving it in and out so um, let's go get some moss I'm gonna get gather some moss over here and I'm gonna show you how I'm uh, doing that so I'm gonna go over here and I'll be right back with you All right. okay guys um, so you can see this is where I was gathering the moss for underneath and I made this uh, paddles type thing kind of I like can scoop it or what I was doing I was you know getting under but what I was doing to gather up the moss for up there because I didn't care if it was all jumbled up was I was actually using it like a scraper like this and just scraping it all together onto a pile like that um, you know this isn't the real thick thick moss like you get in like Canada Alaska places like that but uh, this moss it'll work it'll work just the same so what we're gonna do here so I'm gonna see if I can show you this here is uh, we're gonna move over I think over here um, this should be real thick on that side hill there it should be pretty thick stuff so and pretty pretty dry too these humps so what you do is you take and you throw this garbage off and then I can take and work my piece usually there in under underneath I can bring up slabs hopefully you can see this um, slabs like this and we'll take this and lay this right on top I'll lay a bunch of them down here and we'll go in underneath there Try and get most of the dirt that you can off of it. Because you don't want that whole pile of dirt on there. Um, so, uh, that one didn't work so well. So, right like that. And then, uh, once I get a bunch of this gathered up, I'll take it back. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to put that on, um, excuse me, put that on the, our cover and uh, how we're going to weave it back. So I'll gather a bunch of this up like I'm doing now and we'll head back and get it, get going on that, okay? Okay, so um, down here. We got our we got our moss. I'll try and bang some of the dirt off the best we can, and uh, shake it. And then we're going to take and lay it in on top. The green part, um, green part down, yeah, down towards our body is where, where we want it. We want to lay the green down towards us. And like I said earlier, this moss is like insulation. Um, but the more it's compacted, um, the less R value it has. Just try and knock a bunch of that dirt off of there and uh, any big clumps of dirt or stuff like that try and knock that down any big sticks whatever um, try and get rid of it just banging that that dirt off of there that's a nice chunk there. I'm thinking this is going to work work pretty good. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it'll it'll do pretty good. So hopefully, 
Whoa. Check the uh, camera here. Um, hopefully you could see what I was doing okay. Did you see all right in that, Austin? Yeah. You could see it okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, now you can see there. I might bring it in a little bit closer here. Um, like I said, take this green and lay it down. Um, put one on the front here. See, like, this is showing up. Can you see that okay there, Austin? Yep. Okay. And just low, lay that green down towards you the best you can. Um, knock that off. Just keep it, packing it in there. And making a, a basically just making a, a nice big big blanket um, to go over top of you. Um, obviously, if you were like in the north, like uh, in Alaska and uh, places like that, Canada and that, um, even overseas, some places uh, have bigger. Um, a lot thicker moss that would work awesome um, you can also take that and actually do the same thing if you can get that bigger moss um, and take it and um, take it and cut a big section out of that and you can use that as a blanket too um, you can take that and just lay it you know over top of your green side down towards you is what you want so um, I'm gonna finish filling this in here with uh, with our uh, moss, and then I'm gonna get some more branches and uh, some pine boughs and weave back over to kind of help hold the moss on it on top. Um, so when you're moving around at night and that, you're not uh, knocking it off. So uh, I guess uh, once I get that done, I'll get right back with you and I'll show you how I'm weaving it back back over. Okay guys, so what I'm doing is um, I've got that all weaved in. And I have a bunch of extras um, of these pine boughs. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna throw them, I'm just throwing them on top. Not any particular order or fashion. I'm just uh, throwing them, throwing them on top of there. That just give me a, a nice barrier. Um, to kind of help keep my body heat in there. And notice I'm putting all the um, bowels like this end up, the end of the bow up, because this is the end that my head's going to be on and so I can sit up in here. Um, so I don't want them big heavy branches stick, sticking me in the throat, you know. So, and any bit of insulation that you could get is better than nothing. So, um, I'm gonna zoom this out just a little and uh, try and make sure you can see this. And uh, I'm gonna take and, and crawl in underneath there and we're gonna test this thing out, see how she works, huh? Let's give her a try. <laughs> Okay, here's our thing. You can see our, our blanket lake there. Oh yeah. You know it's not um it's heavy. That it is, you know. Um, but it's not the biggest in the world. What, you think this looks funny? <laughs> um, but if this is all you had, like I said, I would get my trash bag. I'd probably actually make my trash bag, um, almost like a raincoat, something like that. And, uh, I'll pull it down over my body and, um, you know, kind of use that to help insulate me too and uh, also um, 
keep the moisture off of me. Any moisture that might be in this moss. Um, if you're here for a couple days, uh, you know, you uh, you probably would end up, um, this would dry out for you. But, um, you know, I think I think this would be a really good, uh, good thing. Um, you know, obviously, you know, it's not like the most comfortable thing in the world, like I said. But uh, in a survival situation, you're not trying to make comfortable exactly. I mean, you want to be as comfortable as you can. Um, but if you got to make something to keep you warm and keep you out of the, the weather, yeah, this, this would work. This would definitely work. Um, I can, what I can do is I can kind of keep it too a little bit. Um, towards the back and leave this uh, front open. I can uh, uh, already um, feel that it, it is holding my body heat in. So if you had the trash bag um, on top of this yet, um, I think you'd be okay. Um, you could also make a big mound it up. Mound it up real big and make yourself a a pillow like that and this is actually really uh, really comfortable um, so and then you have your fire right there and that would kind of give you heat in in through here and also roll the heat down on top of you um, from in there um, but I'd, uh, I'd 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 do this I think I would definitely uh, definitely do this if I if I had to you know, if I was out, like we were saying, got lost or something, I think I'd definitely uh, give this a try. And like I said, too, um, you're uh, nice and comfy. Um, <laughs> your other country or other states and other countries, like um, you know, UK and you know places like that, uh, have the thicker moss. Uh, if you could cut a big square out of it and use the whole big thing as a, a blanket that would work great too but just remember keep the green towards you uh, you don't want that dirt and that all that stuff down on top of you you want the green the insulating part down against you so curl out of here you can see here you know it just lifts up and I can crawl on out of there and uh, there we go but uh, I, uh, like I said, I think um, I think that'd be a, a go um, on that there blanket system. You know, if if you had nothing else, uh, if you didn't have a blanket, um, I, I'd definitely consider doing that. Um, you can take, you know, like we were saying in our in the video of making this you know I was gonna take the space blanket and put it out over here you could also just take the space blanket and lay underneath this and make like a sleeping bag and, and curl up on the inside of the space blanket and plus your uh, trash bag you know you would be awesome be awesome so well guys um, this is our gonna be our comfy little shelter um, Maybe we'll come out here uh, some evening and uh, give this sucker a try. See how she works out for us. So, uh, well, I hope uh, you got something out of this and enjoyed it and the laughs and everything else. Uh, and I hope, buddy, hope everybody's doing well out there. And I guess uh, that being said, guys, take care. God bless. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.